Hello, this is Kurt Young, Senior Technical Marketing Engineer, and welcome to Kemp Scripting Corner, a series of videos demonstrating the different options for automating the deployment and configuration of Kemp solutions. In this video, I'll be focused on automating the configuration of Kemp Loadmaster virtual services using different methods within Ansible. The first method I'd like to demonstrate will be leveraging the Kemp Python wrapper. To do this, I've deployed two Ubuntu servers since I want to run the Python scripts on a remote machine. In this environment, I'm running Ubuntu 18.04, and there are some prerequisites I need to set up prior to running my Ansible playbooks. First, I've installed Ansible on my first Ubuntu server. Second, very important step is to enable the Kemp Loadmaster API. Next, I've installed Python on my remote Ubuntu server. And then finally, installed the Kemp Python wrapper on the remote server. Here's the Kemp Loadmaster I want to create a new virtual service on. I already have two existing and want to add one more virtual service on TCP 8080. I'm just going to confirm that the API is enabled. So under certificates and security, remote access, I can see that the checkbox is checked. This Loadmaster is also set up with a two-arm configuration, and I want to ensure that I can access the API in the internal interface. So I'll just need to confirm that administrative access is enabled. Onto my Ubuntu servers. Here I have my Ansible remote server, which is going to run the Python commands against the Kemp Loadmaster. And here I have my other Ubuntu server running Ansible. Starting with the Ansible server, I'm in the Ansible directory and have a few files I'd like to highlight. First, let's open up the host file. This file can be leveraged to identify the server or servers Ansible is going to run the playbook against. Here I have two groups, local, which is the one I'll use later in the URI method, and the remote, which is the IP address of the Python server. Next is the Ansible config file. This config file encompasses all the settings and paths required for Ansible to operate properly. In this demo, I'm only setting a small number of settings to get the job done. Here I have the path to the host file, uh, remote user account, and some additional settings, including the path to the private key for authentication to the remote server. Last, I have a simple YAML file. This is the Ansible playbook. Here, as you can see, I'm just calling a remote Python script to run on my remote machine. In this case, it's to create vs.py. Now jumping over to my Python server, I have two Python scripts listed, a list vs, which I'm not using, and the create vs that was referenced in the playbook. So opening up the Python script, create vs, I have a bunch of variables that I'll be using as part of this script, including the loadmaster IP, login information, virtual service IP, and port, real server IP import, and finally the actual Python scripts to create the virtual service. Now I just need to go back, run the playbook on the Ansible server to run the Python script and create the virtual service. I can see we have one change reported back, and if I go to the loadmaster and refresh, I can see the new virtual service created. Moving on to the second approach for configuration of Loadmaster, we'll be leveraging the Kemp API directly using the Ansible URI method. To do this, I'm only going to be using one Ubuntu server to run the script, so I just need to be sure that the Kemp Loadmaster API is enabled, which I did prior in the Python method. Here I am back on my Kemp Loadmaster, and I've cleared the board, so to speak, and I'm looking at adding that new virtual service on port 8080, as I did before. So I'll go onto my Ubuntu Ansible server, and I'm going to go look into a different YAML file that I created for a playbook called vsplayapi2.yaml. Like my Python script, I have several variables that I'll be using for creating my virtual service. Loadmaster IP, virtual service IP, real server IP, ports, and connection information. Next, I have my API calls. One to create the VS and two other ones to add the real servers. So again, I'll go back and I'll run the Ansible playbook. 
I can see each of the tasks succeed. And now if I just go back to the Loadmaster, do a refresh, and the virtual service is there, ready to accept traffic. Hopefully this episode provided some insight to the value of leveraging Ansible playbooks when using Kemp Solutions. For more information on Kemp, visit us at kemptechnologies.com. Thank you for watching.